The Voice of Russia Russian, Golos Rossi tr. Golos Rossi, commonly abbreviated VOR, was the Russian government's international radio broadcasting service from 1993 until 2014, when it was reorganized as Radio Sputnik. Its interval signal was a chime version of majestic chorus from the Great Gate of Kiev portion of pictures at an exhibition by Mussorgsky. History On the 22nd of December 1993, Russian President Boris Yeltsin issued a decree which reorganized Radio Moscow with a new name, The Voice of Russia. A popular feature of The Voice of Russia was Moscow Mailbag, which answered listeners' questions in English about Russia. Until 2005, the program was presented by Joe Adamov, who was known for his command of the English language and his good humor. On the 9th of December 2013, Russian President Vladimir Putin issued a presidential decree liquidating the Voice of Russia as an agency and merging it with RIA Novosti to form the Rossiya Sagodnia International News Agency. Several reports published in 2013 claimed that the Voice of Russia was to cease its shortwave radio service as of the 1st of January 2014 due to budget cuts. However, service continued into the new year. Margarita Samanyan, editor-in-chief of the Rossiya Sagodnia, said in March 2014 that, We will stop using obsolete radio broadcasting models, when the signal is transmitted without any control and when it is impossible to calculate who listens to it and where. The Voice of Russia ceased shortwave and European mediumwave broadcasting effective 1 April 2014. The service had continued to be available worldwide via the Internet, in selected regions on satellite, and in several cities on FM, AM in North America or local digital radio. On 10 November 2014, The Voice of Russia was replaced by Radio Sputnik, part of the Sputnik News multimedia platform operated by Rossiya Sagodnia. <laughs> Former transmission network The transmission network consisted of at least 30 high-power transmission sites west to east, with first transmission dates. Wachenbrunn, East Germany — 1,000 kW carrier power, MW Bolshakovo — 2,500 kW carrier power, MW St. Petersburg — 1961 — 16 times 200 kW SW Moscow — 5 known high-power SW transmission sites Krasnodar 1967 8 times 100 kilowatts SW 8 times 500 kilowatts SW Volgograd Kamo Armenia site ceded to Armenia but operated by RMOC Samara 6 times 250 kilowatts SW 3 times 200 kilowatts SW 7 times 100 kilowatts SW Yekaterinburg 9 times 100 kilowatts SW Tashkent 1000 kilowatts carrier power Dushanbe 1000 kilowatts carrier power OMSK Novosibirsk 1956 17 times 100 kilowatts SW but 1000 kilowatts carrier power capable Irkutsk Angersk 1971 2 times 100 kilowatts, 4 times 250 kilowatts SW, 8 times 500 kilowatts. Cheetah, Yakutsk, Vladivostok, 1000 kilowatts carrier power. Komsomolsh on Amur, Petropavlovsk Magadan, 1000 kilowatts carrier power. The Voice of Russia had broadcast in short, medium, and longwave formats in DAB Plus, Digital Radio Mondial (DRM), HD Radio, as well as through cable, satellite transmission, and in mobile networks. VOR's internet coverage was available in as many as 38 languages. WNSW in Newark, New Jersey, simulcast an English language version of The Voice of Russia until 2014. Topic. Broadcast languages In 2013, The Voice of Russia had broadcast in 38, 38 languages, including References <references>